If you want to stop getting treated like a little kid and you want people to actually respect you and look up to you, there are five things you can do to demand respect from other people. And if you implement these steps, I promise people will respect you more. You might relate to the story I had just a little while back, which was when I was growing up, I was heavily disrespected by my teachers, my friends, my fellow classmates, by literally everyone, bro. Like, I got disrespected, man. And I remember thinking to myself multiple, multiple times, I wish I was just someone who people respected and looked up to. And I remember thinking this so many times in my head, I wish I was just someone people respected, I wish I was just someone people respected. And it took thinking that for me to take a look at myself and realize that if I wanted people to respect me, I had to change some stuff about my life. And that's exactly what I did. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the five things I did to demand respect from others and get people to respect me more. If you're new here, my name is Adam Blonin. I'm a 15 year old kid. I just make these videos for absolutely 100% free to provide as much value as I can from what I've learned on going on this self-improvement journey for close to three years now. So if you are new, go down and click on the subscribe and post notification button. It helps us both out. The first thing I did to get people to respect me more was I realized I had to stop acting so immature. So since I was in about third grade, I was always the class clown. I was always the guy making jokes and, you know, disrespecting others to try and get laughed out of my friends and you know even disrespecting my own friends to try and get other friends to laugh and things like that and by the way I didn't even have many friends but I was always that guy that was trying to crack jokes I was always that guy that was you know I used to do that thing where you walk down the hallway and you bump into other people and people would always laugh and be like, ha ha ha, he's bumping into other people. And let me tell you, other people did not like this. It makes so much sense. Why would people respect me when I would literally not even respect them in the hallway? I'd walk into them and like start bumping into them. Of course people are going to treat me like shit. Of course people aren't going to respect me. And once I realized this, I stopped doing all the little stupid immature things. I stopped acting like a little kid. I started reading books. I started acting more mature. And once I did that, other people started to treat me with more and more respect. The second thing I did to get others to respect me more was I did the hard things that others didn't want to do. So for example, say there was some guy and he was nervous to go up to a girl or something, I would literally be like, bro, don't even worry about it. And I would go up to the girl for him, get her number and bring it back to him. And then like, I would literally set these guys up and people really respected me for this. And this was like a big one. If someone forgot something or something like that, I would literally go back and get it, do whatever hard work other people were like, oh shit, I just forgot something. Oh damn, now I'm gonna have to go back and be like, bro, don't even worry about it. I would go do it and bring it back or something like that. And doing these little things for other people, doing the hard things other people really don't wanna do, make other people respect you more. Cause they're like, bro, this guy just saved me so much time bro I really want that girl's number like thank you so much man I thought I wasn't gonna go up but you got the number and I actually set up a date with her or something like that so if you do hard things for others they have no option other than to pay you back with respect the next step and arguably the most important one was I stopped relying on others for anything. This means I stopped relying on my parents for money. I stopped relying on others to arrange plans for me. I stopped relying on other people to give me fucking snacks and stuff when I forgot my lunch. I didn't rely on others to do the hard work for me when I got tired. If you rely on someone, they won't respect you as much. And on the sort of flip side of this, if you get other people to rely on you, they have no choice but to respect you. So if other people rely on you for things, Things, it puts you in a very powerful position because they are forced to respect you and do things for you when you command them to. Well, a lot of power for you boys there. The fourth one sounds like common sense, but most of you guys aren't doing it, including me just a little while back. It's treat others respectfully and they might just treat you with respect back. I know. Crazy, right? Absolutely mind blowing. But if you treat others with respect, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, they will respect you back. So the simplest way, forget all the other steps, if you could just do one thing, actually treat others respectfully, if you want them to respect you back, obviously, if you don't, then fuck them, it doesn't even matter what you do. And most of the time, if you treat them with respect, they will treat you back with respect. Most of the time, not all the time. Some people are just fucking 
bitches, bro. The final thing I did to get people to respect me more was I became harder to get in contact with. And I didn't do this for some, oh yeah, I'm gonna wait three hours to reply to them because they'll, they'll respect me more reason. I did this because I just genuinely got busy. And when I genuinely got busy, I didn't have as much time to give other people attention and respond to them quickly. And what I actually realized is that when I got harder to get in contact with, people started to respect my time more. Because I used to think people will respect me if I'm always available and I'm always like, hey, do you need anything? like do you want to hang out today and all that stuff but it actually doesn't work and a it doesn't work because people realize that you're not busy you're not putting any work in anything meaningful so they don't respect you for that reason and B it doesn't work because you're just fucking annoying like it's just annoying when you're always hitting someone up and C obviously they don't respect your time because it's always available they know they can text you and you'll text back so they don't respect your time at all so if you become harder to reach and not obviously like people will know if you're just harder to reach because of some like I'm not doing anything I'm sitting watching Netflix but I'm gonna wait three hours to reply to them because they'll, they'll respect me more if you're actually just genuinely busy and you're actually just genuinely doing hard things and you're just doing things and you're just putting so much focus into things to the point where you just can't reply to people quickly then people will just respect you more in general all right hopefully you enjoyed this video implement these five steps and then go to the comments and let me know how it worked for you if you got more respect if your friends were respecting you more your teachers or something like that. As always, be a doer, not a thinker, and I'll see you in the next one.